Hello, here is a problem to find the numbers and with given condition, right? This is one of the many problems on quality applications which we are doing. Now this is a number series. Now here the problem is the sum of number and its reciprocal is 15 over 6. Find all such numbers. So that's the question given to you. Let's try to solve it. So we say let the number be x. So we say let first define the variable. So let x be the number. Okay. So what is its reciprocal? So reciprocal will be 1 over s. 1 over x. Is that okay? Now the condition is sum of number and its reciprocal. So we say x plus 1 over x is equal to 15 over 6. Correct? So that's the first equation. And since we have only one variable, one equation is enough. Now here, what is the lowest common denominator? 6x. Correct? So we say lowest common denominator equals to 6x. So what we will do? We'll multiply everything by 6x. Correct? I'm just writing here to show you what we are trying to do, right? We will times everything by 6x, right? 6x times 6x. So, and then, by doing so, we'll actually get rid of the denominator. So, fraction part will vanish. and will be easy for us to solve the equation, correct? So, if we do that, we get 6x times x is 6x squared. Is it okay? Plus, x will go off and we are left with the number 6 here. And here, we are left with 15 times 6. Oh, 6 and 6 will cancel. 15 times x, right? 6 and 6 will cancel out. And we are left with 15 times x. So we have got a quadratic equation, right? It's easy to solve now. So we say 6x squared. We'll bring it here. Minus 15x plus 6 equals to 0. Now, that's the quadratic equation. Well, we do see a common factor here, and the common factor is 3, right? So let me just factor that 3 out. So 3, I'm factoring out, and left with 2 here as x squared minus 3. When you divide in 15, you get 5, right? 5x plus 2 equals to 0. Perfect. Now, we look for sum and product, correct? Now, what is the sum? Sum should be minus 5 and product of 4. So we're looking for product of two numbers p and q equals to 4 and uh, sum of p and q equals to minus 5. The two numbers both should be negative, right? And minus 4 minus 1 work for us perfectly fine. So we will split this and try to factor it. So we have 2x squared minus 4x minus x. So we split 5x decompose it into its components of minus 4x and minus x plus 2 equals to 0. Now we can combine the two terms and complete our factoring, right? So we get here 3 times, let me make square brackets because we are trying to use another bracket inside. So what is common here? 2x. So we will take 2x common left with x minus 2. Here well, we can take minus common and we are left with x minus 2, correct? So bracket closed. Now, here we can see x minus 2 is common. So we can write this as x minus 2. From here, we get 2x minus 1. So that is the factored form of our problem. So from here, we know when will this be 0. So what values will give us 0? So let me write this equation again here. Let me put them in red. 3 times x minus 2 times 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Now, when is this equation equals to 0? So this is equation equals to 0 at x equals to 2, right? At x equals to 2 and at x equals to 2x minus 1 equals to 0 means x equals to half. At x equals to half. So, this seems to be the answer. So, if x is 2, reciprocal will be half. If x is half, reciprocal will be 2, right? So, such numbers are 
the sum of number and zero is this find all such numbers right so the numbers are two or half do you see that therefore we can write down the answer as the numbers are two or half do you see that is our answer correct okay thank you